Welcome back to CVTV. I'm Genesis. And I'm Gracie. And we are your CVTV anchors. We will start off the show by wishing Corey a very happy birthday. Please come to the office for your birthday pencil after CVTV. Here's the question of the week. Which team has won the men's NCAA men's basketball tournament the most times? Good luck and remember to put all guesses in the orange box in Mr. Tom's room. The winner will be announced on tomorrow's CVTV. Take a moment and listen to this week's secret sound. Please put all answers in the blue box in Mr. Tom's room. A winner will be, a winner will be picked tomorrow on CBTV. Next up, we have Anthony with today's weather. Look, up, look for things to warm up just a bit as our temperatures climb into the 40s. Look for sunny skies today. Look for rain and snow tomorrow morning for St. Patrick's Day. Highs tomorrow will climb up into the mid-40s. Have a great day, Crestview students. Back to you, anchors. Don't forget that our next Jets Peace Night will be Tuesday, March 21st. Plan on having dinner and raising money for Crestview at the same time. Life is short. Eat better pizza. Congratulations to Jameson. He showed the school how to dress for success today. Come to the studio to claim your prize. Don't forget about the Crestview Carn Carnival on April 7th. Pre-sale tickets are available until next Wednesday. Game <coughs> tickets can be purchased before April 7th for five for one. Plan on showing up for this great event. It promises to be a night of fun. Here is Jordan with today's sports moment. Miss Ari must have brought our, brought our Pacers luck last night as they showed up against the Hornets. Paul George led the team with 39 points as they routed the Hornets 98 to 77. Don't forget that the Bullmakers will be playing this evening, and the Bulldogs play this afternoon. They are winning at halftime by 14 points in the first round of the NCAA tournament. All highlights and scores will be shared on tomorrow's CBTV. For a sports moment, I'm Jordan. Back to you, anchors. Next, we have Today in History. Today in 1802, the U.S. Congress established the West Point Military Academy in New York. In 1964, Capitol released the Beatles, Can't Buy Me Love, backed with You Can't Do That. And in 1995, NASA astronaut Norman Vagard became the first American to visit the Russian space station Mir. Today's Star of the Day comes from Gilmore Girls star Lauren Graham, who turns 50 today. She says, perspective is the most important thing to have in life. Thank you for listening. I'm Genesis. And I'm Gracie. Have a great Thursday. Take care of yourself. Stay responsible, respectful, safe. And remember to find your voice in today's world.